Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your girl Miss Ish. Today I am coming with a video showing you all how I prepare chicken and broccoli at home. I'm also going to be having some fried rice on the side with some egg rolls and also some cream cheese puffs. Now, if you want to see how I prepare the fried rice or the egg rolls, please check out my videos down below. Today we're going to focus just on the chicken and broccoli. Now you know you can always tweak my ingredients, but let's go ahead and get started. So basically my main ingredients, I'm going to be using some chicken tenderloins that have been washed. I got some broccoli here, a couple bags. Now I also have some minced garlic, sweet and sour sauce, some soy sauce, some crushed black pepper, garlic and herb mix, also some onion and bell pepper. Then if you notice, I also have a couple packs of these tempura shrimps. So we're going to go ahead and get those on in the Big Boss in a while. But first, let's go ahead and just get started on the chicken. All right, so if you notice, I went ahead and put the chicken into my Copper Chef. Now, the reason that I'm going to use the Copper Chef and kind of deep fry the chicken, I don't have anything on it. Uh, just put them in there with no seasoning and no flour. I'm going to let these crisp up and then I'm going to take them out and cut them into chunks. Now I could have used less oil but this is just how I prefer to do it um, today. So of course like I said you can always tweak those ingredients. You can use olive oil or butter and saute the chicken. I prefer to fry it first and so once the chicken is fully cooked in the inside we'll take it off, marinate it in a little bit of olive oil and the minced garlic and go ahead and start adding our broccoli inside. So we will be back once the chicken is fully cooked. Now that the chicken is uh, slightly brown, we're going to actually be putting it back in the skillet with the garlic and the vegetables. But now we're going to go ahead and cut these tenderloins up into chunks and place them inside the pot with the vegetables and get them sauteed and ready to add the broccoli. Alright, so let's start getting this chicken cut up. It's already, like I said, uh, cooked, so it's going to pretty much shred itself. And I'm just going to take both of these little small steak knives and just continue to slice them all up. I have my skillet on low so the vegetables can start getting uh, pre-cooked. And we will be back once we get all this chicken finished sliced up. Chicken is chopped. Let's get it inside the pan. All right, I have my vegetables in the skillet. And I previously said that they were pre-cooked, and I want to correct myself. Most of the vegetables have already been pre-sauteed, except for the onions. Um, I didn't want them to get too caramelized at first because I will be adding the chicken, like we will be doing now. I'm just going to take all the chicken, pour it back into the skillet. The only thing that's inside here as far as oil would be a little bit of butter. And I am going to be adding a little bit of olive oil. I just didn't want the olive oil to burn. And that's one thing it will do. So you have to be careful when you're using olive oil and make sure the temperature would be on a, a medium to low heat, okay? get all of my other utensils in the sink. We're going to let this go ahead and cook for about just a couple minutes. Like I said, the chicken is done. Now you can either take this chicken. Um, if you looked at any of my fried rice videos, I've actually done the chicken the same way and then just fried it in the rice. But like I said, today we're going to focus just on the chicken. Now, I did use chicken tenderloins. You're more than welcome to use thigh meat or breast. Um, I'm more of a white, you know, meat person. So, I choose to use the chicken tenderloins or the breast. So, we're going to let this simmer for about four to five minutes. I'm going to add a little olive oil. And then we're going to start adding our broccoli and the rest of the ingredients. Now it's time to season. I'm going to take a little bit of the olive oil. Oops. 
we're going to start just pouring it inside. Olive oil is good for you, so you can use a lot, you know, just depending on if you like the taste. Next thing we're going to do is take a little bit of garlic salt, just a little bit now, because remember, we're going to be using soy sauce. We're going to go ahead and add some pepper. We're going to go ahead and add some of this garlic and herb seasoning. And we are going to add a little bit of onion powder. Alright, we're going to stir this up. Just to make sure that the meat is seasoned real good. I went ahead and added a little bit of the broccoli. But of course, it dawned on me that I needed to put my seasoning in. Alright. So now that we have that. We're going to go ahead now, and I just have a regular bag of um, broccoli right here. I hope you guys can see that. Just a regular bag of broccoli, nothing expensive. Add as much or as little to your liking. Now, we'll be adding a little bit more of the garlic and herb seasoning on top of the broccoli. I'm going to take a little bit of the soy sauce now. And like I said, it's up to your satisfaction how you want it to taste. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go in with a little bit of sweet and sour sauce. I'm going to add my teriyaki sauce last. And then I do have a little container. It's like um, some cashew chicken sauce mixed with a little bit of teriyaki, okay? So we're just going to add that on top. And let's see what it's starting to look like. Looks great. So we're going to get this all mixed together. We will be back once this is completed and it is time to get everything else plated. The rice is already cooked. The egg rolls were completed earlier. And once again, if you guys want to see how I make my egg rolls, I have egg roll videos um, down below. And I also have fried rice videos down below as well. So uh, please take the time to look at those videos. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you to all my subscribers so far. Uh, for just sticking with me. I know I take my time and do these videos and I'm getting better without saying um all the time But once again, I just wanted to come and show you guys what I will be preparing for dinner We're gonna let this um, chicken and broccoli sit for about four to five more minutes with the top on it And then we will be back when it's time to plate So let's go ahead now before we cover this up is just Make sure everything is mixed together. And like I stated, I would be I will be adding a little bit of teriyaki sauce uh, by itself at the end. I'm gonna let this sit and simmer for a couple minutes, get my mess cleaned up, and we will be back when it's time to plate. All right, now that I've added the teriyaki sauce, I have a little bag here. This is some tempura sauce. I'm going to go ahead and just pour that in there. It's going to be good with different flavors, all oriental flavors. And we're just going to let this simmer in that juice for about five or ten more minutes or until I'm actually ready to eat. So we will be back shortly and it will be time to get everything together. It will be time to eat. So we'll be back. Now with the tempura shrimp, I'm going to go ahead and use the big boss instead of refrying them. Um, if you can notice, they are large tempura shrimps that are already breaded. And instead of deep frying them, I'm going to go ahead and start adding them into my big boss now, okay? So we're just going to start placing them inside. And five come to a pack. I was going to use regular shrimp, 
butterfly and devanum and just do it auntie fee style with butter but we're gonna work smarter not harder i didn't really feel like devaning nothing okay all right so we're gonna just let these sit in here and we're gonna put them on a uh, medium heat for about five or ten minutes they should be fully crispy and ready to be eaten but we're gonna wait and turn this on until I know that the broccoli and chicken is almost ready to be um, turned off and plated okay so we'll be back all right everyone here is my complete meal we have the chicken and broccoli we have a couple of they're cream cheese wong tongs. Now, I'm going to come back on another video and actually show you all how to make those. We have the egg rolls, which we already have videos for that, and also the fried rice. And then we have the tempura shrimp. Now, you know, you can always use whatever sauce you want for this, whatever, you know, fits your taste buds. But just wanted to show you guys my um, interpretation of chicken and broccoli and just show you guys the complete meal. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please let me know what you liked and what you didn't like and what I can improve with. And until next time, take it easy.